there's no point being 19 years old, driving all these supercars and blah, blah, all this stuff, because you're not impressing anyone. People just think you're lucky, that's it. For this project, I downloaded my vectors from the free pick site by searching for car, blue sky, building, and moon. And she can fix me. Um, what? Sorry, what was I saying? For Illustrator files, you need to open them in Adobe Illustrator and select all red car layers, then copy and paste them into Photoshop. Choose layers, and all layers will be imported into different groups. Select the window layers and press U, then change the color to a dark color for all window layers, including the driver's seat chair, because our car will be driving at night. Then select wheel groups and right click on it, choosing Convert to Smart Object. Then, export the wheel layer as a PNG. Then hide the wheel layers. But I want to change the color of the car from blue to red. So let's add hue saturation from adjustments. Change the hue to achieve the red color. Then export the car body as PNG. Now you have a wheel and a car body. For the background city, you need to open a new project and near the 1920 number, press a star and three, then press create project you'll have a project like this. Now import your sky image and duplicate it a few times. Then make a solid color for the background and choose dark blue with the color picker. Now choose the eraser and change the size to make it bigger. Make sure the hardness is zero and start erasing the edges, putting the opacity at 50 to get softer edges. You can scale layers, continue the process. If you get this error when you want to erase a layer, just click OK, because the layer is a smart object and needs to be converted to a resize layer. For more control on details, you can zoom and find any harsh edges. Then, import your moon image. If it isn't PNG, you can select the moon with the wand tool and invert the mask. Then, delete it. Make it small and double-click on the layer to see effects and turn on outer glow. Use these settings to get your glow. Then for cities, open your vectors in Adobe Illustrator. Select the building's layers and change color to blue. Then copy them and paste them into the Photoshop project. Place them at the right and left side of the shot. Now turn off two of them. Now we have two big building layers. Scale them because they should be behind all buildings. Then press U, and in the Fill option, change the color to a darker blue. Now turn on other buildings layers, and they should be a little smaller than the other buildings. Again, press U to change the color to a darker color but it should have a lighter color than the background buildings. Then, duplicate the two buildings layers and make them smaller. Duplicate them again and press U and choose a light blue color for them. At the end, put moon at left side. Now you should have something like this. Now it's time to start animating. Drag the city layer to the first layer because it's our background and change ratio to 19.6. And scale city layer a little bit. Then add the dark blue layer, which is our road. After that, the red car and at end car wheel. Before we start animating the car, select all layers and increase the duration to 10 seconds. First, we should animate the wheels, so make a keyframe only for rotation. Don't click on any other keyframes like scale or position. So, make a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Then, for the second keyframe, set the number to 120,000. Move second keyframe to end of layer. Now let's check the animation. It's good. If you notice that the speed isn't good, just increase the number for the second keyframe. Now because we didn't make any keyframes for scale and position, we can place the wheel in the right place. Then duplicate it by holding Alt and moving the layer up. And move it to the back side. 
and to avoid the same rotation for both wheels, go to the beginning of the layer and make sure you're on the keyframe by seeing this blue keyframe. Then rotate the wheel 180 degrees. Now it's good. So our car should come from the left to the right side. So mirror the car layer and move the wheels to see them rotate in this area. Let's add some movement to the car body because it makes it more realistic. So add the play pendulum from the effects part. Set twist to zero, strength to three, sharpen to 10, and for speed, just play around with it to get your best result. Then move the car body a little bit to have control over movement when the play pendulum effect works. Now let's take a look at it. What do you think, Jimmy? Hmm, nice, sir. Let's get some number tonight. <laughs> whoa, whoa, chill out, man. The tutorial isn't finished yet. I have to say some more tips to these people. See how valuable you are to me? Hey, hey, Jimmy, but let's go to that club later. Don't tell them. Okay, sir. Okay. Select the car and two wheel layers and create a compound clip. Then, make it small and put it at the center of the shot. Then add a text layer and type a lot of lines. Change the font to make dotted lines thin and increase the distance between lines by increasing the character number and move it under the car and increase the duration of the layer. Then select all lines and duplicate them. Then increase the character number again and change the font to get something thinner. And to move the line behind and under the car, we need to free the layer in Modify. Now you can move it under the car. Now, undo the compound clip again. Add a text layer and press Windows and the dot key on your keyboard to open this window and go to the shape and find triangle. Put it on top of the car. Change the color from white to green. Then scroll down and turn on the glow and choose green color too. Set range to 100 and intensity to 25. Add a new text layer and type 19 years old. Change the font to get something bold. Then select years old and change the font to get something thin. Make it small and put it on top of car. Then apply some animation to it. For text, choose wipe in left to right. For triangle, choose zoom in and move the layer a little farther. And the first triangle should be visible than the text. Select both layers and make them a little smaller. But how we can create something like this? Go to glow part and make a lot of keyframe on intensity for triangle. Then go between keyframes and decrease or increase the number as you want. But don't go to a high number, because it will be too much effect and the viewer won't feel comfortable. I know glow is cool, but don't use it so much. Before we go on, please subscribe and like the video to support me. So copy the keyframes and paste them to get a random light effect. You need to create this number of keyframes. You can add some glow to the text layer too. Let's move both text layers to the right side because we need time when the car comes into the shot. Now when you make sure everything is correct and happy with your chosen font. Select all layers that are related to the car and text layers as well. Then create a compound clip. Make the car small. Make the dotted line too. And I think the road is bigger than it should be, so move it down. Make the city bigger and move it down a little bit. And be careful with empty areas because it's dark and you may not see them. Move the car out of the shot and make a keyframe on position. Then move the car to the end of the shot to create the second keyframe. After that, move the second keyframe to the end of the shot. Then let's check the animation. Hmm, it's good. But we can't see the text animation when they're revealing. So. Move the second keyframe to the left side to get faster animation. Let's see when it comes to the shot and the text animation wants to begin. Here. So make a keyframe at this time. 
Then select the keyframe that we made earlier and copy and paste it using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And move last keyframe to end of the layer. Now we hold the car at this position with these two keyframes. Let's animate the road line, then we'll come back for more details on the car animation. So for the line, it should move in front of the camera very fast. Because our line is so big, I'll speed up the video to see what's happening. For animating the line, it should move from right to left side. And my number is negative 67,000. So, I make a keyframe at the beginning layer. Then I go to the end of the line layer, and I change the x-axis to 67,000. Or you can just delete the negative. And our animation should be like this. So let's, for the end of animation, move the car out of the shot. And the only thing left is our city. The city should move slower than other layers because it's so far from the camera. If you see in our world, I mean the real world, when we sit in a car and we watch mountains, those things move in front of us, they move faster, and we can see mountains completely. Make a keyframe at the beginning of the layer, and for the second keyframe, go to the end of the layer and move it a little bit to the left side. And our animation should be like this. If you look at the line's animation, you will see they move harshly, and they don't smooth. So let's add some motion blur to them. Select the text layer and create a compound clip, then turn on motion blur. Set blur and blend to 30 because I want a little motion, not a lot. Do you see the difference? I think something isn't right here. See at the beginning, we don't have motion blur on lines because the keyframe starts from there. So trim the beginning of the layer. See, now it's like we have movements from the beginning. For color grading, let's start with the city, add vignette and clarity. It's good to see a little shadow down of the city to get some depth in our shot. Reduce saturation a little bit to get more perspective. Negative six is good. For car animation, we should make it smoother because BMW has a smooth absorber. I don't know much about cars, so if I say something wrong, tell me in the comments. So right-click on it, show keyframe animation, and select Auto Curve for keyframes. For the end of the layer, because we cut the beginning of the line, we have some empty frames here. You can decrease speed or duplicate the line layer and cut extra frames to fill the area. Then add an adjustment layer on top of the layer and add a shadow around corners with vignette. And yeah, that's all for today. And I have more car animation. If you like this animation tutorial, just tell me in the comments to know if you want me to upload other parts for you or not. And if you want to learn more videos like this on CapCut, just watch this playlist. If you found this video helpful, like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. And as always, stay creative. <laughs> True.